Hi, uh, I'm back. Uh, this is Beth. Um, I um, I want to talk about something uh, that's that uh, has been going on here. Reference uh, uh, the election coming up uh, on the seventh and um, uh, some other things. Uh, but first, let me discuss something that's very important to people, and that is what kind of shirt I wear. So this shirt's wrinkled, but. This is just to make a point. Now, this is, uh, if anybody out there, especially country guys, uh, you know what this is. Well, let me let me explain what it is, and, and I'll, I'll check it on, on Google, on Google. It says, hunting calls, ground blinds. I don't know what ground blinds are, but it says hunting calls, ground blinds, shooting sticks, and accessories. Now, no, I don't hunt ducks, or I don't... Uh, uh, use a, a duck call. Um, you know, I just haven't had that opportunity uh, to do that. Now, I'm sure it's pr probably interesting, but um, but I have a shirt on that says that. Now, I'm hoping uh, Monday I'll get a check for about $100,000 for wearing this shirt. I'm just teasing. Anyway, so let's talk about uh, the people that are running for uh, mayor and city council. So, I've been informed by several people, um, and... Uh, I checked on it, and uh, it, it may be hearsay right now, but uh, from the people I've talked to, um, uh, reliable sources that are running, um, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a it's a fact. Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, these uh, politicians uh, seeking re-election or or new politicians uh, seeking the the, the mayoral uh, position. Um, so um, uh, these people that are bust in here in vans, um, like I spoke about in another video. Um, they're from uh, Butler County, Franklin County, and other counties up north. Okay, so some of these politicians are going in these rehabs and uh, wanting these people uh, to vote for them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, these people don't live in Ironton. But if they're in Ironton right now in a rehab, and they're going through their own struggle to survive. These heartless people are going in these rehabs and asking for these people to vote. Absentee, of course, because they are in a rehab. And they can't get out long enough to go to the polls and vote. Most of them are not even from Ironton. But these people are still doing that. So anyway... I want to. I wanted to shed light on that, and um, um, I'm sorry I didn't get right back to you. Um, I had things to do. Um, let me see here. There was an ordinance passed. Um, I don't know the number, of course. I haven't had time to look it up, but there was an ordinance passed this year uh, to uh, shut down. Uh, the incoming uh, rehabs here in Ironton. Well, has that happened? And uh, if that ordinance was passed, why wasn't that in the Tribune? Why wasn't that in the Tribune? Why wasn't it on Channel 3? You, uh, you buy a bike for somebody and you get all kinds of coverage. But why isn't uh, one of the most important things that this uh, town and this city um, is about right now are these rehabs, and uh, why would any politician go in there and ask them uh, to, uh, for an absentee uh, vote? Is that legal? Well, what do you think? Uh, call up your uh, local authorities <laughs> and uh, see if they'll tell you if that's legal, okay? Uh, so anyway, like I said, these people are struggling with their own life, and, um, you know, uh, why would you go in there and uh, uh, try to pers persuade them uh, to to vote for you? Um, I was on city council for 12 years. I never had one absentee ballot, and I never turned in one receipt uh, for going to lunch or going to dinner. And I sure as heck didn't give anybody my credit card to have a big party at a local restaurant uh, and get the receipt and bring it back to that person. Now, that happened. Now, push me, and I'll, I'll say the name. Um... Uh, I don't, I, I never turned in anything, never turned in one receipt of, of lunch or dinner. Now, I could have done that every day, 
I could have done that every day. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, still got voted in three consecutive times, but I didn't, uh, I did not have any absentee ballots. Now, I'm all for absentee ballots because a lot of people, especially out in the country, uh, they don't want to drive in here and they may be elderly and, and uh, they're uh, not capable of coming into the polls. I, I agree with absentee ballots a hundred percent. Uh, but, uh, when you have, uh, absentee ballots, uh, from dead people and, uh, uh, people that are in rehabs from other counties that haven't lived here, uh, just for the few months they're in rehab, uh, of course, until Medicaid, uh, stops paying for it, then they just boot them out. Uh, and then there's the homeless problem. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make that, uh, pretty clear that I'm looking into that and, um, I'll make sure before uh, the 7th uh, that I will uh, come back with some information about that. Um, and uh, let's talk about some of these uh, uh, young police officers here uh, in Ironton. Okay, I, ha I, I have a friend of mine that um, uh, I mentioned this in an earlier video um, that was wanting to check on the well-being of her uh, child. And... Uh, mm, I believe it was uh, Sammy, Sammy Giles. I think it was you, honey, that told her um, that if she went to check on her child, uh, that she was going to go to jail for trespassing. Well, honey, got it on tape. Do you do you honestly think, people, do, do these cops honestly think that now, um, not just because Chili came here, yeah, Chili uh, uh, awakened the, the community, he, he actually awakened me from a deep sleep because um, he, he manipulated that whole uh, interview. And that was fine. I, I learned from it and I grew from it. And I finished my book and, uh, you know, I learned from it. Now, um, I don't have the same agenda. Um, I don't have uh, the same uh, commitment uh, that he does. I respect him uh, for doing what he does. Uh, but I like I said, I'm not going to make... Uh, uh, 10, 12 videos a day. Um, the last two days, I did two last night and uh, uh, two today. Um, uh, you know, uh, I, I can do more videos uh, when, when I want to. Uh, nobody's going to determine what I do or what I say or who I say anything about. Um, so anyway, Eric, honey, be careful, buddy. Uh, you don't have to be afraid of me. Um, but, um, you need to be careful. Um, and, uh, this, uh, friend of mine, uh, went down to, uh, the sheriff's office to file a complaint and, um, about a situation with her child. And, um, she had me on speakerphone. So, uh, the, uh, the deputy, <laughs> uh, talked to her and, and, uh, he said, uh, well, I'll go in there and, and, and call him and, and see what's going on. And uh, so he did. And uh, he came back out and, and uh, he said what he said. He knows what he said. And, and it's, it's on, on tape. Um, and then I called down there at the sheriff's office and I asked to speak to that particular deputy. And I said, um, uh, you know, uh, did you even ask that young lady that was just in your lobby what her name was? And he said, Beth. You remember what happened to Chili when he came to town? Well, is that a threat? I said, I'm a concerned citizen. I want to know about this person's child. Um, are, are you going to threaten me? You're going to get a warrant for me? Um, I'm just simply calling to get your feedback. And he said, well, I'm not going to argue with you on the phone. Well, of course you're not. Of course you're not. Um, anyway, um, uh, don't think that I'm not looking into these cases. And uh, yes, I'm not making a penny from him. Uh, I don't want any money from for looking into these cases. And um, I will continue, uh, especially about uh, Bonnie Blevins Newcomb uh, case and um, Randy Newcomb's case. And I will be uh, following up on that. Now, um, if anybody has any more questions that they want answered, all you got to do is ask me on Facebook, or you can ask me on my YouTube channel. Um, um, it, it's just very simple, you know, you don't have to 
hide behind an avatar. You know, just because um, you're um, a, a, a tiny person and uh, maybe you don't uh, wear your teeth all the time, uh, you don't have to hide behind a <sighs> avatar. You know, put your picture on there, buddy. Put your picture on there. Here I am. You know, I'm not. I'm not hiding behind a uh, an avatar. I'm not hiding behind a, a fake name uh, or a, a user name or a, a, a channel made up yesterday or the day before. Um, idiots. Uh, I'm sorry, idiots. Um, if you're so um, uh, such in a capsule in your own life, um, and you keep everything. To yourself, um, what kind of life are you going to lead, honey? Uh, what kind of life are you going to have? Uh, you just going to sit there and in your in your chair and and uh, uh, watch TV and just uh, accept everything that's happening around you and to your kids and your grandkids? Um, speak out! Nobody can do anything to you. Nobody can do anything to you for speaking out. Now, if you if you don't want to speak out yourself. Uh, call me. I'll be your voice. I'm not afraid. So any anything you want to be told, uh, and I have to confirm it. Uh, I'll have April uh, confirm it for me. Um, anything you want to, uh, you want. What's going on, guys? Um, anything you want to know, um, I'll look into it and I'll make sure uh, I'll confirm it and uh, I'll tell you about it. Okay. So anyway. Um, don't forget, hunting calls from Primo's. <laughs> okay. Now, tomorrow, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'll wear uh, a shirt uh, that says Michigan on it. Just to throw everybody off. Everybody knows I love Ohio State. And uh, I, I think I'll wear a Michigan shirt tomorrow. Now, I don't have one, but I might order one just for you people. Just for you people. That way, maybe people from Michigan will think I am supporting Michigan. And boy, um, since I I have a big cash app, uh, which no, I don't. Um, maybe they'll they'll start following me if I wear a Michigan shirt. People, don't be a follower. Be a leader. Uh, speak out and uh, tell your truth. Um, not you don't have to tell anybody else's truth. Tell your truth. Tell how you feel and uh, what you feel about things. Uh, civil rights, I mean, you can just read down the list. You can Google it even. You can Google what your rights are. If you don't know uh, the, the preamble, we the people, if you don't know that, uh, I learned that in seventh grade. Um, if you don't know that, there's a problem. Okay? All right. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, uh, I might be back tonight. You never know. Um, but I will uh, I will continue this conversation. And um, Eric, buddy, be careful, buddy. Be careful. Not a threat. Not a threat from me. Um, but um, just be careful. And uh, uh, Sammy and, and all you guys down at IPD, um, just because uh, you have that badge and that gun, uh, when you tell people stuff... Now, do you think that people don't record stuff? Do you think when they when they take uh, their uh, child to uh, uh, transfer the child to the other parent that they don't record you and see who's with you uh, to uh, uh, to intimidate uh, the parent that uh, is bringing the child? And don't you think that child suffers tremendously from that? And if you uh, if you have a court order that makes you uh, take your child to the other parent, and that child cries uh, all the way uh, to get to that parent, other parent, and then uh, on on FaceTime says, "I want my mommy," and cries, um, and then in the background there's a liquor bottle, and uh, wouldn't you fear for your own child's uh, safety? I would. I would. But anyway, uh, I'll let y'all go here, and I'll be back, uh, maybe here in a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a big. Uh, uh, IA had a thing on. In eight hours, there's gonna be a video, and people were actually waiting. 
on that video. Now, am I going to sit in front of my um, iPad or my phone or my desktop and wait uh, to hear bullshit? No, I'm not. Um, and, and I'm not asking you to sit there and wait on what I say. That's that's your decision. You know, I'm not begging anybody to, uh, to follow my channel, like I said. Um, but anyway, I'll let you go. Y'all have a good night. This is Beth Resch from Ohio. God bless.